Good morning, everyone. We are continuing in the words of the Chavitz Chaim in the Sefer of Mitzvah Zakatzar. This is Mitzvah Lois. I say the negative commandment, Kuf Lamid Beis, number 132. Shall I love I that a man is not allowed to have relations with a woman who is in Nida, which means that she is in the time of her menstruation. And as we will see, even if the blood has subsided, she has not yet gone to the mikvah to purify herself. Shenema, like it says in the verse, a woman who is in the impure state of her nida of her of her menstruation cycle, you cannot get close to her, which means you cannot uncover the nakedness and lie carnally with a woman that is in nida. And someone who transgresses this prohibition, Uba al Aisha's Nida and ends up having relations with a woman that is in Nida. Even if all of the days of her menstruation cycle have passed, Kolzman Shalaitavla Bimikvah, as long as she did not yet go into the mikvah, into the ritual bath which will purify her. Khshaira Kiddin, which is a mikvah that is kosher according to all of the laws. Shall our Bayim Sad has to have forty cubits of water that are in there in order that her entire body could be immersed at one time. Shneyem chayavim karis. Both the man and the woman in this particular case both deserve the penalty of karis of being spiritually cut off as a result of having relations when she is in nida. Vahavlad hanoyladhu pogum. And the child that would be born from such a union is what is called pogum which I guess we'll translate it over here, is defective in its status. And what exactly does that mean? It means that the child is defective and, has, and is blemished spiritually. And a person should stay away, which means that a person perhaps should not get married to such a child that came from that union of a husband and a wife who knowingly had relations when they were when she was in Nida and ended up creating a child as a result. Va'asa, which which means that even if she could mean a woman that is 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 has her, her menstrual cycle while she has her period, she cannot get pregnant. But it's talking about a woman who after the she had the cycle did not yet go to the mikvah to purify herself and she could get pregnant, that's where this child is going to become Pogum is going to become blemished. The Asa Lava Al Ishta Samach Levesta. So too, says the Chavetz Chaim, a husband is not allowed to have relations with his wife, Samach Levesta, when it's getting close to the time, that, the suspected time that she's going to get her period. The Kama Nikra Samach Levesta, what is considered to be close to the start of her period. If she normally gets her period during the daytime. And it's a, it's a whole cheshman, a whole calculation of how we know every month when we assume that she's going to receive her period. It's based upon the previous month and sometimes even the month before that, based on the calendar day, based on the time of the day that it took place, so on and so forth. But suffice to say that let's say that you know how to calculate this. So then that would mean in the up and coming month when you, are, when you suspect that she's going to receive her period because it goes along with the pattern that she has from previous month. So then when you're, if, she, if she got her period last month during the day, on let's say on the fifth day of the month last week, last month of off, that would mean that this month on the fifth day of the month of Elo, so you'd have to make sure that you're not together, you don't lie together with your wife because maybe she's going to get a period and maybe she'll get it when you're having relations and then you'd end up having, uh, you'd end up having relations with a woman that's in nida and that would be a chi of karis that would be getting cut off. If a, if a woman saw, let's say last month, on the fifth day of, of at night time, then you're not allowed to have relations with your wife starting from the night uh, we would say here the fifth of the month of Elo. As we go along, we'll try to review some of these major points. And if you have questions, please consult your local Orthodox rabbi 
to make sure that you and your wife are keeping the laws of Nida in the proper way because we don't need for either of you, for both of you, as the Chavaz Chaim says, to be living a life where you're walking around with a chi of kares, an obligation of spiritual being spiritually cut off as a result of something that is an easy mitzvah to follow, so to speak, by just ensuring that your wife keeps the laws of family purity and goes to the mikvah at the appropriate time. Have a wonderful day.